The Carmelite Order has been blessed by having many of its members canonized or beatified. On 14th November, Carmelites celebrate the Feast of All Carmelite Saints, a day to remember not only those whose sanctity is recognized by the Church, but the many unsung heroes of Carmel who now rejoice in the fullness of God's presence. It is a day to remember those who have been great examples in the Carmelite life and give thanks for the thousands who over the past 800 years all over the world have given their lives to God's service in Carmel. Who are the saints of Carmel? They are the mendicants of the first medieval communities who discovered the presence of God in the events of ordinary daily life and especially seeing God in his brothers and sisters. They are teachers and preachers, missionaries and martyrs, who searched for this face of God among the people. They are nuns who have contributed to the growth of God's people by their mystical experience and especially through their fervent prayer and contemplative life. They are religious, who showed us the face of Christ through their apostolate in hospitals or schools, especially in the mission lands. They are laity, who were able to embody the spirit of Carmel and lived that spirit in the midst of the people. St. Simon Stock, Andrew Corsini, Albert of Trapdeni, John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, Therese of the Child Jesus, St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, and countless saints and blesseds of Carmel together with Mary, the mother of Carmel, are now singing a song of praise to the Father in heaven. They can be great saints that the whole church venerates and invokes in the liturgy, or they are humble saints who are known and venerated by only a few outside the order. But all of them, through their lives, have offered us a secret of holiness to become saints. They can teach us how to live virtues of hope, love and faith, and how to make our daily commitment to God. And they show us how to dedicate their whole heart to Christ. All Carmelite saints let themselves be shaped according to the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who lived in intimacy with her Son. It is from her that they have learned to live in Christ and to live the love of Christ. From her they were inspired to consecrate their lives for the Church and for souls. In short, the life of the Virgin has an absolute importance in the experience of all the Carmelite saints. It is amazing the differences in personalities, social and educational backgrounds of these saints, but despite the differences, they share common traits that bind them to each other and to the great order of Carmel. St. John of the Cross is known for his dark night, but he is called in Carmel as the mystical doctor of love. His poems are expressions of a soul enamoured, of a lover seeking his beloved. St. Teresa of Avila was pierced by an angel's dart and the pain was an effusion of love that sealed the spiritual marriage between her and Jesus. St. Therese exclaimed, I have found my vocation. In the heart of my mother, the Church, I will be love. St. Elizabeth of the Trinity wrote to her friends wanting to know what she did in Carmel. In Carmel, there are only two things to do, to pray and to love. This centrality of love is preeminent in the writings of these saints. Love for them is not just a word or a momentary emotion, but something that embraces sufferings and forgets self. Placing our petitions before all the Carmelite saints today, let us pray. O Lord, may the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, and the prayers of all the saints of Carmel, Help us to walk steadfastly in their footsteps and by our prayers and good works ever further the cause of your Church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen.